Tuesday. Those are the first two days of the week. And thanks uh, for joining us here on Success Express. I'm Ethan. And I'm Eric. Yeah. And with us today, as per use, is Shawnee Moose. The goose is loose in the studio. Sean, how's it going, bud? Yeah. Doing good as always. It sounds like you're being sarcastic. Sean, are you actually doing good, or are you just trying to Give it know, to me sugarcoat raw. the show here? Some things are good. Some things aren't good. That's how it usually is, isn't it? Hey, great call. That's hey, true. man. You've been reading the Tao Te Ching, the Bible, or something like that? You seem, you seem very zen right now. No, no. I do a lot of self-work. Yeah, Sean doesn't know how to read. No. He looks okay. great. He looks great, and so do you, our guest, Johnny Pemberton. How's it going, John? Let it rip. Yeah, I'm just dude. doing you know, great at ripping, it, ripping this, ripping that. Yeah, you came in with several bongs, and then you yeah. lined them up and just ripped, ripped them, them all. all. Scraping that paper, baby. That's what I do. Scraping the paper. And that's Scraping what we wanted to talk to you about here today, because we noticed you were up on Hollywood uh -huh. uh, Boulevard, yep. and you were kind of just handing out cash. HWBLVD. Well, excuse me? HWBLVD. HWBLVD. Yes. And so we wanted to ask you about how you started... Uh, making all of this money to the point where now you're just giving handing it away. It you saw that Drake video, right? The Drake video where he's like yeah. handing out cash to people in Miami. And right. Stuff. Oh. You're doing a similar thing on Highland uh, Highland and Hollywood? Was How, it? I mean, wherever it is, uh, Vine and Hollywood, either way, it's just a fucking shit show. So I don't care. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Great. That's awesome, man. So yeah, we want to get into it, but unfortunately, uh, we do have a lot of sponsors on the program. Right, and I understand so, that. I yeah. was told that beforehand. Oh, okay, good. Uh -huh. I don't Who know. told you? Sean? Well, uh, someone reached out, and I circled back, and we um, connected the loop, and next thing you know, I was, it just downloaded me some info on it, and um, Fantastic. I'm grateful. And did you Fantastic. use Dropbox? Yeah, it's good to be here. So let's cut Amazing. to Amazing. Uh, Sean, so uh, that sound means we have an ad. So what's the ad that we have here today? First ad is for a Calamari Doctors Conference. Okay, so that sounds important. So we'll go, we'll cut to uh, Calamari Doctors Conference. Conference. And then we'll be right back here on Success Express. Thank Great you so to much. Be here. Uh, thank you, uh, John. Calamari Doctors Conference. Calamari Doctors Conference. Calamari Doctors Conference. Come on down, Calamari Doctors Conference. Get your hands dirty. Calamari Doctors Conference. Calamari Doctors Conference. Yeah. Calamari Doctors Conference. It's only three days. It's three days long, and it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So bring your broken and amputated calamaris down to the Calamari Doctors Cause. We're going to do all kinds of surgery on little squid. If your wife and kids at home, come to the Calamari Doctors Conference. Come on down. Calamari Doctors Conference. Bring some ducks. Calamari Doctors Conference. Make sure you get a hotel. Have you ever been eating in an Italian restaurant and the waiter brings you a bunch of broken calamari? That's not good. That's the worst feeling in the world, close to getting shot or stabbed in the foot. Complete the ring. Now you can complete the ring and you can bring your broken calamari to the Calamari Doctors the Conference. The circle remains unbroken tonight. The circle remains unbroken tonight. Circle remains unbroken tonight. Lock it up, lock it in. Let me begin. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are you a, with finger quotes, doctor? Come on yeah. down to Fort Lauderdale for the Calamari Doctors Conference. It's pretty loose. Yeah. Relax. There may or may not be a lot of drugs happening on the roof. A lot of fresh drugs, a lot of fresh fish, not all you can eat buffet. Hope you like a grouper sandwich with a mango chutney. <laughs> That's the only meal we serve. A little bit of mahi mahi. But if you're cool, you're gonna call a dolphin. <laughs> so I'm gonna, gonna call, call a dolphin. dolphin. There's no limit on drugs. Please be 
respectful to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> it's hard to secure this, this convention site. Calamari Doctors Conference. <laughs> Calamari Doctors Conference. Now Fort Lauderdale. Calamari Doctors Conference. Calamari Doctors Only happens one time a year. What happens at the CDC? Days of the CDC. Santa Claus uses FedEx shipping. Santa Claus. He's not your Santa Claus anymore. FedEx. <laughs> He's our Santa. Brought to you by Tom Hanks. <laughs> Wishbone the dog. And Naomi Watts, new surgical center in Port St. Lucie. Naomi Watts, surgical center. Naomi Watts, surgical center. Naomi Watts, surgical center. Port St. Lucie Beach. And we're back here on Success Express with Johnny Pemberton, our guest. How's it going? Hey, it's great to be here. I'm glad we circled back and managed to nail this down. Yeah, me too. It's been a really crazy process with yeah. the emails and the tags. I know. Yeah. It's just been a crazy summer. It's one of those things where, you know, you just find yourself someplace like, wow, okay, um, how much time we got left? Totally. Yes. And it's circling back. Tell so. me if you guys felt this. I... Please. You know, it, last I checked, it was June first. Uh, I closed my eyes. It's the end of August. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, crazy, right? It I just know. flies. It really flies. Uh, uh, Time. Do you enjoy summer activities? Yeah, I do. I like uh, being outdoors at dusk. It's probably my favorite time. Well, because uh, I, I was going to ask you because I do want to, you know, get into your investment uh, right. advice, but. I was with Eric the other day at a park, Echo Park mm. Lake, and we caught a fish and yeah. started just picking at it. With well, they did some a lot of good stuff to that lake, I heard. You did a lot of good they stuff? Did, they've done a lot of good to that lake. I heard they put a squirrel in there, yeah. SQRL. Yeah, they implemented yep. squirrel technology, yeah, and now squirrel. they got it. There's an underwater squirrel that around. you can actually scuba dive to, and mm -hmm. they cook you up a I gourmet. Heard, it costs $13. Really? Yeah, yes. $13. Is Lord doing an installation there, I heard? Yeah. Lord, Lord. is doing a new uh, musical installation. That's cool. Yeah, it's a huge Lord yeah. Fest It's over a YoPlay-sponsored event, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's I'm a correct. big fan of YoPlay and Denon, both, you know... Well, Yoplait is actually a Denon product, so it works out. And the Denonimals. Den the Denonimals, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I've actually, there's, I think there's, uh, what's his name? Trent Reznor was doing a, a remix to Four Denonimals. Oh, really? Yeah. I That's... think we have that now, actually. Yeah. Oh, can we, we play, play a clip of that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's play it. I want to fuck you like a Denimal. <gasps> I want to eat out your insides. <sighs> I want to eat you like a denimal. All these probiotics are so good for my kids. I want to eat out your insides. I mean, I want to listen to the whole thing, but unfortunately... You we can't have, play yeah. more than 30 seconds, right? Yeah, yeah it's I a licensing yeah. whole thing with uh, Warner Brothers. Yeah, and Trent's a huge dick about that stuff. Yeah, he, he is really, a big You dick. said it, not me. No, he's a big dick. I don't mind saying it. No, he is. You know him? I'm not going to say that I know him, but I've encountered him on sets and stuff like that, and he's yeah. like a gigantic ass bag. He's always on set. So, yeah, I saw him like go to... like a Fincher film. Oh, he's he, always he on works at Fincher? Fincher? Yeah. I heard him... I saw him at an Arby's in Panorama City. Oh, the Arby's. It's only, there's only two Arby's in uh, L.A. And one of them was in Panorama City. I saw him there. He uh, took his black card out and bought all. He went up there and he said, hey, uh, give me all of it. And they're like, what do you mean? Like, everything you have here, cook it. Wow. And oh, give it wow. to me. And then he was like, you think it was like a gesture for the community, but actually it was like, 
he had a dump, him just throw it in the fucking dumpster and he pissed on it. Whoa, <laughs> are you serious? What <laughs> a freak! Selfish. I know. And that's what I'm talking about. That's some rockstar rock shit, asshole. though. That's kind of cool, though. That's some rockstar shit. Yeah, it's shit. very cool. But I would have thought he would have given it to the community as a gesture because a lot of people who live in Arby's communities can't afford the Arby's. That's right. Yeah, it's a common I thing. Know, it's a sad thing. It's, Arby's community. Arby's is the uh, what do you call that? The shovel on the front of a train that moves the snow. Mm-hmm. Whatever that's called, it's yeah. that the for shield. Gen- the train the of gentrification. Shield. Snow is shield. Sh- the shield of that. The it's Arby's. It's, but it's shaped like a giant hat. Yeah, it's a giant hat to fool people, but it's actually this massive sort of s- train-powered shovel that displaces people of lower income and replaces them with Arby's. Yeah, uh-huh. That's why we got to vote this yeah. upcoming... Tip of the spear, yeah. You got to vote. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's just say it all at the same time. Ready? You, you got to vote. vote. Cast your vote. I, I think I said we'd try it again. Yeah. Okay. Cast your, your vote. vote. One more time. Okay. Okay. You, you gotta, gotta vote. vote. <laughs> that time we got it. Okay. So, uh, so Sean, do we have to go to a sponsor? Because I do. Uh, I have a lot of Arby's notes here that I wanted to get to. Yeah, yeah, we can get those on the other side of this. But um, oh, okay. We got an right. here for uh, Bert's Body Mods. Mm, Bert's no. Body Mods. Bert's Body Mods. So let's go to Bert's Body Mods, and we'll be uh, right back, and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of how Arby collected all the meats. Are you weak? Are you sad? Do you want to be a big, big, tough man? You want to be a big, big... Fuck no! <laughs> you want to be a big, tough man? You want to change your Bert's body mods? Fuck yeah! Mod. You want to change your eyes? You want to change your nose? You want to change your cheeks? Get me in there now! You want to change your clothes? You want to change your boobs? You want to change your feet? Help me, who am I? <laughs> Help! Help me! Help, help me get in there! Help! Help! I survived cancer! I need to commemorate it! Should I get some gauges now? Bert's body mods. You wanna be the Uberman? You wanna be like Bert? Help! Wanna be like Bert? You wanna be the man like Bert? Strap on your shoes and get in this place. I want identity! Help! Have you lost yourself in a medical procedure? Lost one of my kidneys! Do you need an upgrade? Do you want to turn your wrist into a gun? Or your foot into a knife? Oh yeah! Whatever's cheaper! (laughs) The knife one is cheaper. The knife is cheaper. I figured! (laughs) Less parts. It's hard to walk when your foot's a knife. Yeah, it's hard to walk by me too! (laughs) Good luck! It's like having a steel toe boot, but it's your foot, motherfucker. Oh my god! Change the shit out of your friend. You can change anything and do anything. You can change anything and do anything. You can change anything and do anything. You can change anything. Can, can you make me cool? We can put sunglasses on your face permanently. Permanently. Oh, I want that! We can tattoo a leather jacket onto your chest. Can you make my penis stop itching? Yes. No. Oh. Oh my god. We can fix your itchy dick. We can fix your itchy dick, baby. I'm so glad I found you. I'm so glad I found you. Now I have someone to be. I'm Bert. Hey, I'm Bert. I got cancer from a train accident. Oh, and no. And I'm a billionaire. But guess what? I've stitched myself up and I'm the Uberman. I'm the $6 billion man, motherfucker. And I can do the same to you for a small price. Bert's body mods. I survived cancer. <laughs> How should I commemorate that? Burst body mods. Oh, change. great! You could change your face. You could change, change your skin color. Can I get some gauges? We don't do gauges. Oh, well. We don't do gauges. What about like a huge chest piece? We do that. Oh, yeah. We do yeah. that. Right, I'd like to thank every, all the uh, first responders who showed up here. Uh, thank you for coming out to this press conference. Sorry, this is last minute. We know the river is very cold and there's a lot of ice out there, so this was a very difficult rescue operation. Uh, The first responders have showed up in numbers we couldn't imagine. We're dealing with approximately 1,700 first responders here at Little Lake Erie LaCroix River, but it's completely frozen due to a spill upstream. 
the first responders uh, literally mobbed the scene and stopped the river with their bodies, some of them dying in the process, even though it was completely unnecessary. So we want to thank those first responders who showed up and dammed this little St. Croix frozen river with their bodies, literally. And for them, our hats are off and our thoughts and prayers have been sent to those first responders. Uh, it's important that we show first responders respect. If you see a first responder on the street, give them a cookie, give them a parking spot, offer to buy everything they have in their car to Trader Joe's. When you treat first responders, great, because if we didn't have first responders like this, this river would still be flowing. And even though it's a very small amount of water flowing into an area that's completely designed for that, it's just first responders. Welcome back to Success Express, everybody. Yeah, and, uh, and we want to thank our heroes. That... Yeah, I mean, I'm all about getting a tattoo of first responders. I'm getting a chess piece next week that has the fire department, the police department, and ambulance mm. department. Wow, all yeah. in one tattoo? Like, yeah. Do you know anyone that was in the any I don't know any services? first responders, but I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of, I want to leave it that way. I don't want to get in their way. Right. Because I know they have to be busy stimulating their cerebral cortex when they're not saving lives. Yeah. Right. Which yeah. usually involves smoking meth or other types of risky behaviors. Yeah, a lot of first responders are addicted to heavy drugs. Yeah, well, heavy because, drugs, I mean, alcohol. Keeps Imagine them going. the thrill of saving someone's life immediately. Yeah. How do you it's keep like being that a rock up? star. No wonder they're all on heroin stuff because exactly. nothing can beat the high of being in front of 60,000 people. And you respond first. Rock. It's like a burst. Yeah, you yeah. respond your first. first burst. Oh, it's God. like heroin, Oof. man. It's chasing the dragon. Yeah. First yeah. responders is basically just like a car crash, like onlooker. You know? Seriously. It's got to be the best feeling. It's like the same thing. It's like saving someone from a burning building and a needle in your arm. Exactly. And you're just riding that you're high. Just riding that high, sitting on your couch watching Saving Silverman. Yeah. Yeah, and you're just you're, you know, freaked out of your mind on on glass, <laughs> in the finest Hawaiian glass. Yeah. Hawaii. Why is it you think they have the best glass over I there mean, in Hawaii? I don't know. I mean, it's probably you know what they say. It's the water. Yeah, but something I think in the water. It's the water, but it's also the air. And when the two come together, yeah. you make glass. Because mm -hmm. New York's got the best water. That's why it's the best bagels and the best coffee. We all know that. And Absolutely. the pizza, because pizza are uh, basically bagels. The pizza bagels. in New York And that's is... where it originated. Uh-huh. Pizza. That's not right. Italy. Yeah. It's definitely not Italy at all. People, it's a common misconception. Yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous. Even though there's all this historical proof showing that a baker in Genoa baked something for the, uh, the Queen of Italy in like 1402. Yep. That's bullshit. That's horseshit. It was Americans in Little Italy in mm -hmm. the 40s that made pizza. We all know that. Yeah, yeah. the mob was eating yeah. it. They were like, what the fuck is this? this is, what is this? Well, this pizza was like, this hey, scuba boo boo. Hey, scuba le boo boo. If you hey. do any research at all, you can see that mob boss scuba le boo boo yeah. was responding to World War II breaking out. And yep. they needed something to feed all of his goobas. War has given us some of the greatest things. Yes. Pizza. Pizza. Jeans. Jeans. Yes. Um, cash. Cash. Yeah, cash. We didn't have cash before war. No, right? we didn't. And we those Velcro backpacks. We didn't. We, they, it was Velcro. only zipper before. Velcro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Leather. Leather. Yep. Leather's big thing. It's a big product. Mare's milk. That's right. Yeah, mare's milk. I mean, the Mongolians would be nothing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Without mare's milk. And I so. think it was the Spanish-American War. Uh huh. That first gave us the torch. Mm. So Sean, uh, are we? Where are we? Oops. We are we are at our, our coming up on our last ad here. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, that's good because then we can get to the true uh, financial stuff. Right. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to share some stuff with you guys. Yeah, I would love that's why that. Why you're here? Yeah, I mean, I uh, what I did is uh, there's a um, Italian company that recycles pistachio shells to make coffins. Oh, great! And wow. I had to seek approval from the Pope because it's I had to approve it as being wood because technically you can only make a coffin to bury a body. If it's made of wood, and so the Pope approved that the pistachio shells are wood. Wow. So what I'm working on is um, there's a lot of dog hair out there. Absolutely. It's going yeah. to waste. Yes. And this is a keratin protein that you could probably, you know, treat with a certain thing and find a way to make it something. So I'm looking at making either uh, bags or coffins. So, John, what's the uh, last ad here? We got an ad here for The Boy Who Flew Away. Mm. Great. It's a great film. From Fox Searchlight Pictures comes The Boy Who Flew Away. Ah! 
the new film from Ang Lee takes on filial piety in a time when people with wings weren't allowed to fly. You cannot be with that man! Why? You cannot be with him! He will fly away from you! No, he won't! He loves me! He's the best flyer! Yeah, uh, are you gonna fly with me away or not? Because I uh, love you. Yes, I'm coming. Meet me at Walmart. I have half flakes to manufacture. Half flakes? Half flakes. We manufacture half flakes here. Don't you understand? No, I don't. You must take after Dad's business of half flakes. <laughs> this is what we make here. Don't fly away. How dare you? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> I cannot marry the man I love. Why is that? Because my father. He <laughs> Don't you want to stay here? Samantha! Why don't you stay here with Samantha? You never put out, Samantha! I don't like you anymore. I'm flying away. <laughs> you must make half legs! Oh, you think you're gonna fly away? Oh! oh. Got him. No one flies away from this company. Or this family. And together, they were there. Half legs. Samantha, come with me. I can fly. I'm going to take you away from your family and we're going to live together on a faraway island. No, I can't go with you. It's unsafe for me to fly. But I love you. I don't care. Let's fly on a plane if you want. She I don't want to... cannot go. And Samantha. my dad doesn't want me to your go. Your dad's a dick. You, you know it. You cannot go. You must stay and manufacture half flakes here in Shenzhen. Who's going to make the half flakes if I leave with you? That's his problem. I love you, and we need to get away from your oppressive family. I need you to... are too wet. Yeah, and you're dripping all over the place. I'm sorry. That, that's you what happens when I fly. It was raining out. I flew here. It's gross. My dad hates it. I'm getting water all over the floor, you wet fuck. I'm sorry. But I'm just one guy who can fly who's in love. With the soundtrack by Shakira. He can't even speak. He can only do flute. Your brother's a mute. A flute mute. He's a flute mute. Hydro Flask. And Yeti Coolers present The Boy Who Flew Away. More set there for wow. the big fans out there. What a crazy film. <laughs> the Boy Flew Away? Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to get it on Blu-ray. Yeah, it's got a lot of people that I'm into mm -hmm. that I follow. Michael Pitt. Michael Pitt, he's back. I thank God. Where did he go? He Well, he's obviously been working on this for a long time. Right. Yeah. It took him twice as long to film this as it did Eyes Wide Shut. I heard he gained 65 pounds Oof. for the roll for the roll yeah that's rough you know it's actually harder to gain weight than it is to lose weight so that's I so true yeah, yeah. So don't true. i know it yeah so sean do we have a verbal read or can we just go in for the clothes and get over to to in and out or, or yeah we, we can split a uber xl there yeah we can to. do that as soon as we finish the verbal read here so oh so okay. we have one today. yeah we do have what's one. that one all right sorry john we got that's okay you know how it is we, we got a verbal read, read. One out loud. we got a read here for uh cheap dirt hmm. cheap dirt okay so let's just do the quick uh We'll just read this copy for Cheap Dirt, and then we'll get the F out of here and get some guisados, and Great. hopefully we can all play in this ball pit together. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oof. Cheap Dirt. Cheap Dirt. Cheap, cheap, cheap Dirt. Cheap, cheap. Cheap Dirt. Cheap, cheap, cheap Dirt. Cheap, cheap, cheap Dirt. Cheap Dirt. Cheap Dirt. 
So thank you to Cheap Dirt, and we will see you guys next time uh, on Success Express. And thank you to Johnny Pemberton. Yeah, no problem. Really appreciate you coming by and helping Just, us out. Yeah, with our- check out my website, Yelp.com. Uh, you can find all kind of good stuff there. I'll be there all week, actually. I'm doing a live... Uh, At Yelp headquarters? Yeah, live I'm, a, I'm taking stream. over their... Um, what do you call it? Their um, Instagram. Q&A. Q&A. Yeah. So, yeah, check out the live Q&A at Yelp.com uh-huh. for Johnny Pemberton's information. And yeah. thank you, Sean. Yeah, Sean, it's about time. No one thanks you enough, and I want to be the first responder to thank you. You've thanked me a couple times. Oh, I'd like to also um, like to thank first responders, right? too. Yes. Okay. And the second responders, even though they were mm-hmm. a little slow, but yeah. they got there. Solo. Success Express is recorded at the All Things Comedy Studios in Burbank, California. It's produced by Shawnee Moose, the Goose's Loose Tracy. And if you're listening to this podcast, you're, you're a, a McDuck. McDuck. That's right, you're a McDuck now, which means you're a fan of the podcast, and we would appreciate if you would write us an iTunes review telling us which sponsor you'd like to hear next. Sick of only listening to the podcast? You can watch certain episodes on YouTube. It's a select few for now. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at at SuccessExpressPod for some behind-the-scenes violence. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you, Eric. No, thank you, McDucks. Bye-bye.